Hello there and welcome to another Anime in UK. This is our post MCM Comic Con May 20. What year is it? 2023 podcast. Podcast. So this is another episode of Anime UK. I am, of course, Timothy Lunn. I'm Rebecca. I'm sorry it's been so long since we've had an episode. We've been busy and I've been quite ill. I'm all better now. That, that's good. So how, how did you get ill? Dodgy Marks is better sandwich. Yeah, that, you, come on, it's just weird that you got, you got, you got, you got, I, you don't, you're not from Britain, you probably don't know Marks Spencer. they're like the high up chain, you probably expect to get like poisoned by Asda's or, or super, or, or petrol station sandwich. Yeah, petrol station sandwich, so <laughs> it's quite a thing, like, like the high up one got you poisoned. <laughs> Maybe one of our rival podcasts as well. <laughs> And, and they're trying to they're trying trying to stop us. Uh, anyway, so we have come back from MC and Comic Con. So today, pretty much, it's us talking about the highs and talking about the lows, which there are, I think, many of both. Yes, there are many of both. <laughs> so it's one of the, the mixed one. There is positives. There is negatives, negatives. and there is. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> um, so, Comic-Con this year, of course, May, just over two years since Comic-Con, of course, returned from the pandemic. Mm. Um, and, of course, when Comic-Con first came back, it was smaller, there wasn't as many big companies, and then, of course, we had last year, yeah. where companies did start to sort of start reappearing. We had Sega at October, quite a big game thing, and I thought, this is probably going to be it, this is more and more people and we did have a few companies come back and bandai were back bandai bandai were there last year as well paramount paramount no paramount yeah paramount's like paramount's the other company that always come <laughs> paramount and uh bandai i'm trying to think some other stuff that have come back yeah um but yeah uh the thing i was kind of surprised about this comic con it did feel especially video game wise yeah uh, i will say this if you are going to mcm comic con to play video games Pretty disappointed. That's no, no, no. Literally, except for Bandai, there were no new. And I think Bandai were only really showing off a handful of new games, including Pepper Pig World. Yeah, <laughs> Pepper Pig World. You can play Pepper Pig World. <laughs> um, I do want to play that Pepper Pig World. <laughs> Wait. So it costs people to be streaming it. <laughs> You've to streaming it. Um, but yeah, um, it was just kind of weird that the thing I'm thinking of right now. What big game's coming out next month? It's a pretty big one. It's supposed to be the final one, but it's the 16th one. It, it's Final Fantasy 16 meant to be coming out in, in June. Yeah, in June, next month. And, I mean, like, three years ago, they had... Um, Square Enix came with Final mm. Fantasy VII. You know, the remake of Final Fantasy VII. They remember because um, you got the picture of the Buster Sword, because you could yeah. get a picture of the Buster Sword. And it was just really weird. You'd think there's this massive game. Square Enix always used to come to MCM. And it just felt really weird. I notice it's like they only invite only sort of events. They're sort of doing it very yeah. closed door. Only certain people and certain channels. Of course, I understand. There's that. not as many video game events now nowadays. Uh, E3 is now dead. Yeah, it's, it's this weird sort of thing. I, I don't think it's necessarily MCM's fault. I think it's a bit of just how the, the the game developers are, and they're almost like saying like before we would have got a huge like stall yeah. with like Final Fantasy sixteen like come and play Final Fantasy sixteen try out Final Fantasy sixteen, yeah. and now no now it's like no 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 you guys don't the, we don't need the general public it's like we can just send it off to a few like game presses or a few certain YouTube channels and they'll be the ones who get to talk. I, 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 I don't know I, I I feel kind of sad that something like that's gone I remember like on other Final Fantasies I remember like playing Final Fantasy 15 at Eurogamer you know Eurogamer yep and uh, EGX now EGX <laughs> um so like back in the day, I don't know, just, that's like the thing that I've been most sad about this MCM is video game wise. 
I always kind of at least like tried to check out and it just felt weird that we were a month away from one of my favourite franchises and Square Enix are. Now of course it could be also price, I do understand. Um, MCM prices have really gone up for exhibitors. Yes, um, so maybe it's just a case of Square or someone just not wanting to pay it. Mm. Um, and I do understand it may just also be a case of maybe they don't have the demos ready. Now there's no E3. Mm. There's no E3, they're not going to be able to um, date that what they normally like used to produce the uh, produce the demos for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was like the sad thing. I was kind of looking forward to playing games again. And in fact, last time we had Sonic and they had a really good stand last they time. They had Sonic, they had the new Yakuza game. That was, as I said, Sega weren't here this time. Of course, they're probably not pushing anything, so I do understand. I understand if a company's not pushing anything, they're not going to come. Yeah. But it just felt weird, like, you feel like Square Enix would be in absolute push mode, and there was absolutely nothing. You know. But it's Final Fantasy, people play it whatever, True. like you would. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, this is the one... I don't think I'm going to invest in the PlayStation 5 just to play Final Fantasy. You There's, were going to. I was going to, but the more I've seen about it, and the more it's kind of like... They're not even letting me have a go on it. And I'm like, wait, you're already wanting me to spend £500 on a console and you're not going to let me like, even have like a like quick cheeky demo play? That's what I'm just kind of a bit like. I'm like, <laughs> and, like that is a big investment. It's like I can go and get Zelda and um, that, even if I didn't have a Switch right next to me. But if I didn't have a Switch, I mean, I, I could go and get a Switch for like £100. And I think the new Zelda game goes for about £55. So it's like... 55 cents. Yeah, literally, that's like, like way less than... The Two priority tickets for MCM, Friday and Saturday, cost me 70 quid. Yeah, because they run out of weekend tickets, didn't they? What's kind of our fault? We probably should have. <laughs> well, yeah. the fact we're doing it on Sunday afternoon shows that we're not there the entire weekend. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that I, I, there's just not as much to see at MCM as there once was. Mm. Um, what it is, is... Okay, so we should talk about some of the good stuff at Sega. Yes. Um, the artists. Oh my god, yes. I, I almost feel like it has become a thing that now the artists and the artist Ali are like, oh, artist Ali and the artists. Shall we show you off some of the art we got? We got some amazing art. I, I only stupidly, I think, got one, of the, one thing I got. This is this amazing berserk. Ah, berserk! <laughs> um, sticker set I got. Ah. Uh, I got their Facebook and Instagram there, so please do make sure. I just love it, it's not this bizarre 80s bizarre. <laughs> I know, I just, I, the more you look at it, the more funny the fact that it fits like <laughs> me right now. I also bought this cute 8 bit Dura keychain. There was a lot of Hollow Live art. I, I mean, like, this is just selection stuff I bought. Yeah. This is something else I bought from, from called Dat Cravat. This is a beautiful hell take a print because some some of my friends cosplayed had we had some people had a huge hell take group at CockroCon yeah and the theme song absolutely flipping slaps cool what other art do you have this is like lovely Makima print mm. so the same artist and this is an art nouveau your Fogger print and the artist has done Lloyd and Anya as well nice. This is like, I've just got selection of stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Um, you, Rebecca bought so much that she probably did a five hour stream on all the art she bought. <laughs> this is a hat from Pink and Colt. Ooh. It's a nice berry, look at pink, yeah. pink and black. Nice. The artist is, does a whole range of apparel, yeah. exclusive, inclusive sizes. Yeah. This is a t-shirt. This is a power t-shirt. This is either from Tino Sugar Shop or Beans, which I have bought from before. I, I, I will say this, that I do like the fact the artists are going into like big more things. That's what I always find with, 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 of course, you do love your keychains and stuff, but I do like it when they yeah. do go into all, it's just like the nice, the, the, the great things you can get from the artists. I will be, I will be wearing this at some point. Yeah. 
Well, my Naruto shirt from you clothes nice. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, you got now. I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading the cheats on that. Is there any more art you got, or is that? I, I have got like lots got of key changes up that we've been doing. Yeah, we'll be here all day. Shall we talk just about how Carl? Uh, wait, I, oh, 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 no, you did get one more top artist. This is why I love. Yeah, a lot of them are going into like makeup now. They're probably, I think, what. I have to go put this a bit nearer because it's so cool. Just we get, you may recognise this again. We met, we met someone cosplaying this at the Genshin Impact meet. It was so, oh, I didn't get a photo, but it was at okay, Genshin Impact. Not, as I said, getting on how busy stuff was, it was, oh my god, it was busy. I do just love when artists do stuff, they just make really mm. creative products. There's actually a lip gloss in there. There's a lip gloss, and, and they gave me those stickers. Yeah, they're really nice. They're really nice. They gave me the a artist sticker. called Bunchui. Bunchui. Um, yeah, I, I I bought from them in the past. I bought that Sonichi medallion. No, that was Shiba Fan. Oh, was not, not right next to them. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm thinking it. That they, there's normally three of them in a row. I think yeah. I remember they normally like they 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 they, they go together. Mm. So now we can talk about the fun thing. How crowded? I will admit, first thing Friday, not as crowded. No, we, we got around. We all got all right around. Um, which I'm kind of glad we did. And I mean. Friday, you could get around. Yeah, just about. It was getting a little bit crowded here and there, but you're like, hey, you get around. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> and it's like the second we got there Saturday, first thing we got there, we couldn't go in through the main entrance. No, nope, they're like, you're going through the other way around because we want to look in, we want to excise those weeds. So literally, we have to walk all the way up the top. Then we have to walk all the way through the security thing and it's like back and forth, back and forth. And um, you just got into MCM and it was just, we were late, we were a bit late. So yeah, because like, we wanted some sleep. We have, yeah, we needed sleep. But somebody kept waking me up with memes. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really into Philip Schofield memes right now. <laughs> and it's a peak time, <laughs> peak time for Philip Schofield memes. Um, but yes, um, so we ended up having to walk all the way around and we just like got in, um, like, because we went to Forbidden Planet to get yeah. the books and it was like, every there was like loads of people in there and you like, you have to sort of shuffle along because there'd be someone next to you looking mm -hmm. at all the books and you have to shuffle along if you wanted to get the book next to you. Mm -hmm. And then we went over to UK to Japan. Yeah. Japan to UK. Yeah, Japan to UK, sorry. They're really, We've been, yeah. We were talking we about... Bought, we, bought, we bought so much stuff from them. We bought so much stuff from them. They had... Um, they really had, good range of Japanese Pokemon cards. Really good range. Um, Decent prices. They had the best prices. We're not like paid to say that. We, we we went around and did the research and we were like, well, we talked to you like one, literally one of the first people you talked to and you actually had the good prices. So, <laughs> so I was even selling cards to kids. Yeah, she was, helping, she was just telling the kids which, which cards, you know, which packs of cards to buy. Because with the Japanese packs, it is a bit confusing because some of them you you get no, you, you can just get loads of rubbish in, while other packs you get some really nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like the English pack where you're guaranteed a rare card. The Japanese packs you can just they can just give you as there's less card, but it's less money. Um, but that it was like almost like a battle to get back over to like where the Japanese packs were yeah because you had people like wanting this people wanting that and just after that the whole hall just got so busy it was one of them yeah. like people going one way people going the other way and then you'd even get stopped for photos that yeah. happened a few times yeah. and I, 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 I have to be really careful I, I have to like anytime it happened I have to kind of make sure that you put yourself in a in a position where you're essentially not blocking people, yeah, people's way. Because I've seen that before, where like cosplayers have have um, done that, and it is kind of that like weird sort of because someone wants your photo at the same time. And I was like, I think Japan, you're actually banned from taking photos in the convention hall. Like, yes, that you in Japan, you've got to have a special. Like, you're in a special. Yeah, you're in a special pen. Because if you look at so, well, sort yeah. of very. Cause Comiket, uh, yeah. you've got a special area. Because it's weird, in Japan Expo in France, it was, there is an area like that. Mm. I mean, you can legally go around, you can actually get, like, people will take your photos outside the area. Yeah. But in Japan Expo, there's this big, massive area. Mm. It's almost like you can set up shop there. I, I've done it before there. And, um, yeah, the queue just kind of, 
it, it, anyway, it's a good place if you want photos taken. Normally, that, that's when like all the photographers would hang out. Literally, I, it was like just a queue sort of started. It was like, okay, cool. But it's just, like it, the queue sorting yourself out. I was just, I think I was Pikachu at the time. I was just like, ah, oh, I just, I just let this, I just let this line. Like I think Totoro came over at one point. It was a Totoro. Whenever you saw my line, I was like, hey, can I kind of? <laughs> People like Totoro as well. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I kind of wish I the cosplay area is really good. But I really wish they would look at Japan Expo. If they have like a big stage and they do like mm. showcases all throughout the day and you can go for time. I know they got the Pop Asia stage. Mm. That's the one thing I really would love. Maybe put a cosplay, a cosplay area right near the back. Yeah. That's what Japan Expo does. Have this big stage, have like loads of room. Have maybe like loads of cosplay booths, maybe some of like the fan groups, yeah. like all the Star Wars fan groups and stuff. Fan group first. Yeah, um, like the Dalek fan group. I know some yeah. costumes were out, but in the cosplay area, there's some Disney suits. Yeah, no, that, that looked really good, I thought, when I, when, I, when I saw it. I didn't get much of the cosplay area, but I'd like to see that, just have like have this like one big area. Then if they had lots of areas, so you can kind of set up shop if you want. To be available for taking photo because trust me, get so busy outside. Um, but I did always thought that's the one thing I really like. I know people in the cosplay area do do work really. It would just be lovely to see them get more room. I think that is one thing MCM should really potentially look into. Um, but yeah, that 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 was. But it was just so crowded, so we decided to go outside. Yeah, and <laughs> Friday not so crowded. Saturday. Oh my god, it was like that green. There was like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. They closed off the green to start with. Oh, that's a whole thing. We haven't even covered that. Do you want to tell the story about Well, that? <laughs> apparently there was a chainsaw man meet on the Friday on the green at two o'clock. They only opened up the green at two o'clock. So why did they only open up the grid? To I don't them? know. I heard what it was, was they have the stage there normally. Yeah, yeah. But, but I think the council were like, nah, -uh, not having it. They literally, so what happened, they had the stage, they have all, they have this for like 10 plus years and the council came along and were just like, no, you can't have that here. <laughs> Do you think the council might have changed hands recently? I must have. Someone, someone, somewhere must have. Or like they voted some new people in because yeah. somewhere near us, they, yeah. they, our council changed hands all of a sudden. Yeah. Ikea are in talks by the shopping centre. Ah, I see. I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe it's just, it's just a case maybe someone stitched on them or just the one person showed up and was like, oh, you can't do that. Um, does happen a lot like that. You get away, you can get away, and then someone will eventually come along going, "You can't do that. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. You, you haven't got the right life." The other thing is, they set up a bar. This is the first ever time we we're like, "Oh, that's a nice idea." On the green, they actually physically set up a bar, and on Saturday, you went to go and get a drink. They weren't allowed to serve any alcohol. <laughs> And so it's like this bar properly set up, and it's like even like has like Heineken and stuff. Was it Heineken? Yeah. Guinness. Guinness. It was Guinness. And Rebecca was like, "Oh, get a nice fresh, you know, like fresh pint on the on the green." And you go over there, and it's like, "Oh, you can have a can of Coke." I mean, if I was at <laughs> Desert Alcohol, I could pop it to Nisa by the what's it, grab a drink. Yeah. You literally and head back in again. Yeah, you literally it was five minutes away from <laughs> from a way cheaper time. Um, yeah, I, I, I was, I mean, that's more to cancel. And what they have to do is they have to put the, um, they have to put the um, stage in the re-entry area, yeah. which they weren't always using, I noticed, because mm. we, when we tried to re-enter, they moved us back round to the original entry. Yeah. So we have to flip and go all the yeah. way around again. Yep. They really just wanted us to walk this week, week. And um, we went all the way down and we were like, oh God, and it's like, <laughs> and then it was like, oh, and I mean, the, the, the area was nice. Um, I did look in and there was a band playing mm. and there was a lot of people there. Mm. So people did know it was there, but I did look in later and it was a lot later on and it was like barely anyone in there. And I felt sorry who was playing because they were like, there wasn't many people waiting. And while you were outside, you'd have got like thousands of people watching you. It would have been like a nice sort of music festival. Yeah, like. it was really echo. it was really echoey inside, so that's not 
yeah, no, oh, I could see that. I was like, I was like, yeah, it's really echoey in here. That that's kind of a shame. I guess it was that or not having it. But I do feel sorry for some of the acts who are supposed to be on Friday yeah. and they had to re schedule their stuff so people had to come to see them. Mm -hmm. They had to like make sure everybody. And trust me, we oh, we can talk about MCM and internet. It was shit. And his lack of internet. The internet at MCM is terrible. Um, even the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Even the free Wi-Fi. Yeah, because you had to go upload some. Yeah. I had, I, to go, I had to go in the artist. I went in the artist alley. Yeah. Or you were... I, I think I spent about 40 minutes. Because I was like, oh, surely it's uploading. And I looked in. It's like still like processing. Like still, you know, it's like, it's like saying like, 21 hours and I went that's not good that's not good in the YouTube climate um, so I decided to go because I was at this point actually quite tired because I was wearing my scuba gear costume and I got really and hot. somebody did not bring drink enough water I, what, you, I drank two bottles of water thank you very much you <laughs> needed a bigger bottle you needed a bigger bottle and literally I went out to the middle and you could just about get wi-fi in the middle in like where all, all, all the things and that was on friday yeah. i'd hate to think what it would have been like if i tried doing i don't think i would have been able to do that on saturday i think everybody would have been using the free wi-fi you would have needed your own dongle yeah um because I had, I had internet on that phone and i was just like why, why is it like literally just it's just not picking it up it's just it was just weird it was just it was just it was just uh of course that's always going to be i do understand even like other big venues always. I think a lot of big venues really struggle with internet, mm. and I think that um, I think there are some paid options you can get. And if you are one of the stores, I think you can go. So I do understand that that they're not going to let you on the ones that all the stores need, so they can actually. Oh, we can't even talk about the cash machines. That was a lie. So the day before, so before MCM, it's like, oh, it's not yeah. going to be any cash machines on site. So I I got some cash out. That was a lie. There was a cash machine down on the car park thing. And and the other day, yeah. yes, and yesterday, yeah. there was a cash machine. You shouldn't really tell people this at the day before the event, especially because a lot of people come in from other countries mm. from MCM. Yeah, so they're hoping to be able to uh, use cards or get cash out at the venue. Even though they, they get really big. I wonder if they actually said that just to stop people from not bringing cash and stopping all the lines from happening. Um, maybe. maybe that, those yeah. lines were huge. Back in the day, they would be a huge. It was almost like the biggest line of convention. Yeah. Flipping, like, the flipping line for, for the flipping cash machine. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes read bigger lines for that than certain guests. <laughs> and uh, we actually didn't meet any guests this year, did we? There wasn't anything that grabbed our attention. Uh, and some there were some big name guests, but they were charging quite a bit of money. And uh, we hadn't really seen anything where anyone was... There was like someone, there was no Trash Taste. The trash Taste trash are coming back in September, so I think they realise they can do their own show. <laughs> I know, they, they know they're a big enough draw to, to, to book their own venue now. But um, uh, the Pokemon cast were there, yeah. but a lot of them... I met Veronica Taylor, and she was the only one that was quite reasonably priced. Yeah. And I've met her already. She's absolutely, I will say, you not met Veronica Taylor, the original voice of Ash Ketchum. Please, please do. They are absolute sweetheart. They are like really lovely. I met her years ago on the film Comic Con. She, she, she was probably one of my favorite guests I've ever met. She was so like wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, but yeah, it was like every, all the other original Pokemon actors were there. And they were- yu gi as well. Oh yes, and they also had Dan Green. Um, Harriet, Harriet knows Dan Green. We should have, we should have asked Harriet. <laughs> Fortunately, Harriet's only there today, so the one day Harriet's there is the day we're not there. Mm. That kind of sucks. Um, we did, we did miss you, Harriet. If you're watching Harriet, please say have because she, she, that's the thing. She, she really likes. Um, oh, Flag means death, and that was the big thing they were pushing. This, and Five Nights at Freddy's. And Five Nights at Freddy. I mean, two big things, just two things. Um, one I've never really got into, and the other one I had. I did do Cobb want to check out. Our flag means death. I had you heard a lot of good things about it, um, but I just haven't had the opportunity yet. I mean, I'm thinking, I'm, like, I've watched like no anime this season, so that shows you how behind. <laughs> we actually watched a load of Tricon last night. Yeah, the, the, the Stampede. Stampede, you can't go, yes, because people think we're thinking of the original one. What do you think of the Tricon Stampede? It's really good. Uh, I've seen a lot more of it, but yeah, um, there's a lot of Tricon Stampede cosplay. Yeah. We saw a lot of. Um, 
Those are bashes. Those are bashes. That's in wood, wolf wood, so that's in a couple of merrills. Yeah, so it's, it's nice to have seen that, you know, it has striped, striped that. Yeah. I don't know what, what, what fandom were you surprised to see a lot of cosplays from? A lot of cosplays. Are, there's loads of VTuber cosplays this time. Yes, there's a lot more. There was even a VTuber me. We yeah. didn't have cosplays, but we um, we did go over to yeah. to, to check it out. Um, yeah. It was really cute because it had a little like mic, and they had like did little live like, performances. Uh, but we had to head over. I had to head over to. I had to make my appearance at the Genshin. I made like the you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. The huge. Oh my god, the Genshin panel was just like, like they were just. I, I think there may have been near to a thousand people there. A thousand? No, they felt like it. It was a good couple of hundred. Like about 200. 200 plus people. It's an all in Genshin cosplay. And it, it was, it was, it was so, it was. I feel sorry for the people who uh, organise it. They actually do a really good job. Yeah. I actually know some of them and they actually really do a good job. And um, I, I, I just popped in for a little bit because. Um, it was really hot out there, yeah. and it didn't. It didn't. You, Did you, they, they you were, needed me, an ice cream. I needed. I, I. I. I was just like, I'm going to make an appearance, like take a few photos, and then I'm. I'm going to. I, I met another prima gen cos. I, I was like, I'm going to go and meet. Other, I do like meeting the other prima gen cosplayers. I knew. I knew there was at least one other one around. Two. Yeah, there was two others around, and I did get to meet one of them there, so I was like, so I was like, hey, they want to do the photo, I let, I've already done the photo of everyone now, and so I'll let the other Prima Gen get that photo this time around. But yeah, it was really nice, it was like, um, nice getting to meet, uh, meet the other Prima Gen, it was really cool. Um, and, and, um, yeah, it was just nice seeing all the really good, really good Genshin cosplayers, and it's just, I, it's really cool just to see how, how big the Genshin, I wonder how, um, how much I'm going to rail. Will that be next year? Will next time? Will that be the that be? It's a shame there was no Genshin store this time. I thought that would come back. Was you, it? You got something as big as Genshin Impact, but that's a Poyaverse are just putting all the money in Honkai Star Rail right now. Because they are doing a store for um, a tour for Honkai, but they um, they go to Japan Expo. They have just announced that, but you'd think they may have wanted to come to England. They did it last yeah. year. This seems a bit weird that they. I mean, maybe they just didn't, didn't get a good enough deal. And maybe Japan Expo will just offer it, and because Japan Expo is way bigger, bigger, so maybe they more clout. More clout, yes, is it more clout? I'm afraid, but it would have been nice they come back because. But yeah, it was really, it was really nice to see uh, all the really good cosplayers. There were so many meets going on in that sort of area. Yeah. It was like they were sort of clashing. You got the Besida meet. They were like sort of trying to stop <laughs> all the Genshin cosplayers like from wandering into that. Oh, then we had the League of Legend, Legend meet right next to yeah. that. <laughs> I kept right, walk, mate. Right, mate. And I kept walking past it going, I'm, I'm, I'm transferring to <laughs> I'm transferring to the other popular mobile. Oh. <laughs> there is a League of Legends mo no, no. mobile game. Yeah, I'm going to go over to, I'm going over to the other big popular <laughs> game. <laughs> um, so we ended up here, I, I did jokingly start walking past it. Um, but yeah, um, I did try to think out what else. Food price were expensive. But we did, we do have one tip. Have we? Have, I think we have shown this on the, on the vlog before. There is a chicken place right next to Custom House. Yeah. You got a humongous piece of chicken. Yeah. And we took a photo of it. I'll probably stick the photo in if, I, yeah. if I'm bothered. And it was just like, wow. And it, I mean, they're still good prices. Yeah. I mean, they go up a little bit every year. But I mean, I think it was about, I think about six pounds, like 75. And I got four big pieces of chicken, chips. A Pepsi. I mean, probably in the Excel sense, you're probably going to pay twelve pounds or maybe two pieces of yeah. chicken and some chips and no drink. <laughs> yeah, it's like we was yeah. on the way out yesterday. We wanted to get to the Costa. Yeah, and they had the cheapest price a bottle of Coke. Because Costa, yeah. so I bought you the Coke from everywhere. Yeah, no, I was like, I, was like, I can't believe Costa have the cheapest. <laughs> you know something's wrong. Costa is the cheapest option inside your venue. Yeah, and it's like. It's like some place like three pounds for a bottle of Coke or almost three pounds for a can. It's almost Disney, it's almost theme park prices. Yeah, it's theme park prices. There, there, I've all noticed that there was a lot less, there were some, there were a lot less sweet stores than it used to be. Yes. Once upon a time at MCM, there used to be like... So the American candy stores. They probably all got done for money, don't you? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of them have. Uh, but yeah. They still have the taffy place. Yeah. Which we, oh, I didn't go and get any taffy. They didn't. I almost did. 
Yeah, I totally forgot. I totally forgot to start with my idiot. Um, and I, I got some. I got a really hard to get fans first, so I was happy about that. But I had in Japan. And what else? I'm just trying to think what other things. That... Look, the, loads, of, loads of really good cosplays this year. I will say that the cosplay game is really high. Now at MCA. Yeah. Um, I will say thank you to everybody who came over to us and said lovely things about cosplay. Um, would love be meeting you all. Yeah. And then you met your wife at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really wholesome because all day we hadn't found because you were cosplaying. She's our token like cosplay should be cool. And we hadn't found a single. I think on Friday we saw one on the train station really far away. Yeah. And they were on the other platform. And um, literally we were like, oh, there's like no other. And literally right at the end, literally we were going down the last thing of the artist alley. And we ran into her. <laughs> we had the perfect set. And yeah, it was really nice. And she was really excited as well. Yeah. We got some really nice photos in there. Yeah. So we were just really happy. And it's funny because we actually found merchandise on that one of the stalls. Yeah. And we were like, hey, they could actually have merchandise of this show, do um, But so, yeah, like all the kitchen, all the kitchen. There were so many. There were so many cool. Unfortunately, I never got to see the cosplay of the person who actually cosplayed the XL Center. I think they're doing it today. Yeah. Um, I suppose you didn't do it. <laughs> I know everyone said that sort of thing you'd do, Tim. Um, no, I've actually, I know the cosplay area is, I've actually spoken to them before. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. I've, I've seen them. They do it all about their cosplay. I know I, I kind of had a reputation of doing it out their cosplays. But I don't know. It feels like more now. Now we're getting yeah. more into the channel. It does feel like now. I can't do. If I. You're more into the channel, I'm not as much. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm to do, I can't do big cosplays because I need to like be made sure I can go and film stuff and do stuff. So it does feel like it's like I have to like downgrade <laughs> my big wild cosplays. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just really nice seeing, seeing, seeing. Everybody. Yeah, I feel like I've seen more people that I know this weekend than other MCMs. Yeah, we saw a lot of people. Yeah. It did feel like we were real running into people. A lot more often than yeah. we did. I mean, considering like Harriet, because normally Harriet's normally the person we spend a lot of time with. Yeah. Harriet wasn't there. Oh, we got to see Ryan again. Yeah. We saw Eddie, we saw Martin, we saw. Yeah. Something else we've seen. Saw my sister, we saw. Uh, who else we Michael. Seen? We saw Selim. Good old Selim. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Giovanni himself. Um, yeah, it was, it was really nice. Uh, we said hello to Liam. Um, I don't know who else could see. There's a few people I did miss. There was a few people I did miss to apologize. Oh, we saw Ben. We saw Keith at the store. Oh, Keith, Keith was very so good. So, Pez and Storm at the store. Yeah, <laughs> all, the people, all the people who were like on this. We even got Peace on Pichan. We saw Pichan. Mm -hmm. They tried sending me a wig. <laughs> oh, come on, Tim. That was that wig where she did go really well when we pre Majid cosplay. <laughs> That Pima cosplay is already hot enough. I don't think I need to be yeah. here. We're underneath that as well. Um, oh, it was hot this weekend. It was boiling. And that's someone who had an air conditioning unit built into their costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, still... Didn't it break? Um, he ran out of fuel eventually. That was right at the end of the day. That's when I took it off. It literally had, I think, mean, just run out. So that's when I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's, that's God's way of telling me to stop cosplaying. <laughs> Um, I was doing the Primo Gem, I was keeping doing Primo Gem from Genshin Impact. Mm. Uh, and unfortunately, didn't. I'm kind of glad I didn't take my Yago because I think he would have been really tough yeah. to take around and potentially would have mm. broken. I was wearing Yoru on Friday, that was fun. Yeah, um, lots and lots of chains on Android. Yes. Uh, oh, one, 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 I just remember one kind of sucky thing about MCM I've noticed unfortunately had gone up a lot was there was a lot more bootlegs on 40 than there have been previous years. Um, these aren't bootlegs. These aren't bootlegs, but we can kind of tell you the story you have with one of these. Well, yeah. these are some of the first things that I've picked up. And you picked them up for a really good price. I, I got a good deal on these. Like, these were £50, weren't they? These were £100 on both figures. Yeah. On another store, I saw this figure by himself, Denji for himself. By 95. But there was a bootleg floating around. Mm -hmm. There were one store that had him for £20. Yeah. And it was the bootleg. <laughs> so you bought that one for £20 before it's you, you have bought the bootleg. Or you found a store that we never found. <laughs> <laughs> now I said, um, you could tell from the store it was a bootleg. 
because this is actually the only name drawing they had, and everything else was like terribly printed. Yes. Like, posters from that, you know, are stolen. stolen. Yeah. And another funny thing about prices, so it really does show you, just as talking about Pokemon cards, so I picked up some Pokemon. So I was going to show you some of the Pokemon cards so I can do. I'll go to that one last because that's kind of the thing. I picked up some vivid voltage at four pounds because this is like the set that's going up in price. And of course, as we do lots of openings here. You do. I do. Do lots of openings here. We've got some Shining Fates. There's this one store that was selling Shining Fates for five pounds. And of course, because these are packs you only ever got in my boxes. Box, yeah. So you did never got these individually. So that's actually a really good prices for individual because normally like the boxes are a lot more expensive then than you would pay for single packs. Of course, this is the new set. Now, this is the other new set. And it's kind of... A, this set has freaking broken Pokemon cards in Japan. It's got to the point where they literally have to turn around. And in the Pokemon Center, they'll only sell you Pokemon cards if you're an actual child now. And um, that meant that a lot of stores had some very interesting prices. There is one card in this set which goes for over a grand. Yes, that's why everybody. So, you, and it's the Iono card. It's the Iono Savitube card. Um, that's the interesting thing. So, with this, with this, um, one stall was selling it as high as seven pounds a pack for one pack. You get five cards, and you have the chance to get no good cards. I opened three earlier and. One of the packs have no good cards. This book does have a decent pull rate. Though. It does have a really good pull rate. For Japan cards, that has a really good it pull rate. It is a pull rate, but you are you could spend seven packs on a card and you can get nothing. Um, yeah, why you I've got other Japanese sets and they have t terrible pulls. Yeah. The pull set, the pull on this, the pull rate on this, and the yeah. other one are really good. Yeah, these two, because these are the two kind of sets. So this one's not so much. This one's all be like half the price because it's this one that has the flipping card in it. So, stores were selling it as high. This feels like that thing in short change they used to do. This used to be a good show called short change, and you you, have, you could send in the prices you found, and they always do the highest price to the lowest price. And uh, so, literally, what it was was one store had it for seven pounds, and the first store we practically came to was selling them for three pound fifty. These, so that was that was literally someone was selling this for twice the price than the person selling it at the cheapest price, and that of course. Um, Japan to UK. UK! Japan to UK, so... We're not sponsored, I promise. We're not Please sponsor. sponsor us. <laughs> <They're not laughs> yeah. And no, they're really cool guys, by the way. Please do check them out. They, they had really amazing prices off on, like, everything. They had a really nice... Had some really nice Coogees as well. Coogees, they had some really decent prices on Coogees as well. Uh, the, you know, we can talk about Coogees, actually. We'll do... That's our next thing. We can talk about all the anime stores, technically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and... Um, but I'm saying, so it shows you guys, do your research. Do you shop around? You could have literally bought these for twice the price than you could there. So you can talk about the anime stores and the Coogees. Mm -hmm. There were quite a few anime stores this year because the last yeah. few years there haven't been as many, but now they're the due big... to how more popular anime is getting. Yeah. It's like, you can even, it's like if you like, like we've just had a forbidden planet open up near me and it is good. So what it is, is Bandai were there and they were showing off quite a lot actually. Yeah, you had, the, they had their Gunpla stall, there was one Gunpla I was looking for, but they didn't have it, so I'm going to have to put myself on a lot of mailing lists and hope it comes back in stock. Yes, that's from the new one, isn't yeah. it, Mercury? Um, I want Juju's Demi, so... <laughs> um, we... we what, what, what was it? What, what was it? Um, they had a... So they had like, like, like loads of nice sections. They had a video game section at the front. They had the Gundam right at the front. Yeah. They had like, you could build your own Gundam. Um, I know some people who picked up some Gundams and they go said it was really good prices. Yeah. I, I like, I think Amy said you picked up a set for £9. Yeah. Which is really good. Yeah, for Gundam, like, some Gundam yeah. kits are quite yeah. decent price. A lot of my friends have picked up some gun, guns yeah. and model kits. Yeah. No, they can cost quite a lot. Uh, norm normally you find them over here that are cost like up, up for, they get up because of shipping and stuff. But, yeah. But, um, yeah, so that was good to see some gun gun stuff. They had a store with their own stuff and they had a whole, uh, it's kind of bougie. It's, oh, that was moment. 
Um, this, they had six different ones, including the Spy Family one, which I'd never seen in the UK before, and the Jojo one I'd never seen in the UK before. Jojo, no, that didn't have bleach, because Ichibankuji are yeah. starting to go yeah. into shop shops now. Yes. Because our local, my local Forbidden Planet had the My Hero Academia Kuji. Ah. I was going to pull on it the other week, but all the good prices were gone. Uh, and it was two pound more. Yeah, about fourteen quid a ticket. Yeah, so they had them slightly cheaper than they do in in uh, in that. Uh, so we went and pulled. I got a really nice spy family cup from my yeah. my pool. Um, got a nice keychain. Yeah, I gave Rebecca the keychain. Good Has the penguin on it? I was like, she likes the penguin. So I'll get her have it. Um, but yeah, it was. It took a while to get for open. Yeah, so because we went straight there, they were like, oh, we're still setting up. And then we, we ended up coming back like four hours later. And there was a really massive line, yeah. which we glad we did because we went back the next day and they sold out. They're going to put another, they were going to put another Demon Slayer Kuji on. Yeah. But literally that was it. And um, I want, I want the Spy Family one. <laughs> uh, this year was going crazy. But the coolest thing I think they had. Gashapon. Oh, oh, Jojo Worlds. Oh, Jojo Worlds and Gatchapon. Um, they had Gatchapon. They had a nice selection of Gatchapon yeah. as well. Um, they had Spy Family. They had Animal Crossing. They had Kirby. I think Rebecca picked out a Animal Crossing one. No. Oh, not Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm thinking of my sister. <laughs> uh, my sister would get the Animal Crossing one. She didn't even have to get that one. She was like, ah, she, she. So we got the Spy Family one. Get it out. You actually got a cool. You got the and your face. Mean face, and we also went to Jojo World, which I'm also kind of glad we did first because we yeah, it was a queue. There was a massive queue, and, and plus the fact we were pretty much last going to film in Jojo World. <laughs> um, so Jojo World is a exhibition in Japan. I think Connor's done a video on it. If you want, if you want to see something better, you go and see his video. Once you're done with this one, um, and um, essentially they have one of the photo opportunities. They brought it over from Japan. Uh, from part six of, of the jail, and you could go and get your picture taken in it. That's and they were doing a survey, and if you did the survey, okay. you got this back. <laughs> and um, it was funny because my sister was doing it for her friend because her friend wasn't there, and her friend really loves JoJo. My sister's not seen a single minute of JoJo. And she uh, had, yes, she has. She oh, put it on. We put it on once. I, I, she doesn't know much about JoJo. Trust me, she wouldn't like JJ. And she was like, I had to do the survey. I had no idea what was going on in the survey. And it was like one of her best friends really loves JoJo. So she was being like a good sport and getting her, getting her like the JoJo thing. That was so awesome. And yeah. Ah, uh, I'm just trying to figure what else. Uh, but, then we had Alibi Limited. Oh, yep. Yeah. They had some really nice photo so opportunities. They had um, Slam Dunk. Oh, we got to talk about all their announcements quickly. Let's do a quick yeah. run round of their announcements. They map Ma Ma Marcos Plus coming to UK cinemas. Was that true? Does that actually when did that come out? Um, that 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 I, I read it on their on their Facebook. Oh. I'm pretty sure I read it somewhere. Yes. Unless I got that wrong, then I. So that shows you hopefully that will mean more Marcoses. Oh, people do. We yeah. just. See some Frontier cosplayers? Yeah, we did see. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we get a, a Marcos Frontier. We all got gone down Build Fighters. Yeah, build, people love Build Fighters. I always want to catch with Build Fighters, and plus the dub's quite hard to get, because originally it was only um, released uh, in Asia. So I'm actually probably going to pick that up when it comes out. Even though I keep asking for G Gundam, and they keep keeps coming on death ears. No, they're, they're very, they weren't very hard at Anime Limited, and I understand they are probably trying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got, I think, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.2 is coming out in cinemas. You actually got a cinema release for that. I am actually looking forward to seeing that in person. I did, have seen it already. Of course, you can watch me watching it for the first time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see, seeing that. As it should be on the big screen. We're getting the first slam dunk at the end of August. Which, did, as I said, for us in the UK, it really is the first because we've never got anything else slam dunk <laughs> over that. And I'm looking forward... From Peace, Moody Red's coming out on Blu-ray. And it'll be done by the wonderful people at Anime Limited. Oh, that'll be a very nice release. It will be a very nice release because they always do really gorgeous releases. So I'm really happy to see that them and Toei seem to have some sort of agreement. And hopefully that means that we're going to get all the Toei stuff in the cinema and really good releases of the Toei stuff. So I'm really thrilled for Anime Limited to be working 
absolutely amazing company and so absolutely wonderful to see two great companies working together and we're going to win because we're going to get all the content and had some, read some really nice photo opportunities yeah. with the Sam Duncan. Oh, how, and uh, we have some manga. Yeah, Viz came back for us for a while. Really good to see. Kodansha and Yen Press have come. They had us all together. No news about K manga though. <laughs> I've heard about my app and I've heard it is a dumpster fire. Um, so, um, who knows? Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. We we'll try not to be too controversial on that. <laughs> um, uh, there was another manga. There was another manga publication that I saw. I forgot what Is that Sweat Drop? Not Sweat Drop, there was another one. I forgot who it was, but they were. Um, there was definitely someone else there, but I totally forgot who it was. Mm. Um, because I saw, I saw them promoting stuff. So it's nice to see that the anime, the anime stuff, nature is healing. It actually, that was the thing. Even in the video game side of things, if I will say to you now for MCM, if you like video games, it's not really a place for you. If you like anime, it least, it's at least worth checking it out. Yeah. Because that is, seems to be the place. That I hope Crunchyroll does come back. Yeah, Crunchy I'm, does need to come back to MCM. Crunchy does need to come back. I think that's what we're missing. We need Crunchyroll back. We will be seeing them at AnimeCon UK. Yeah. Which we will be going to. Yeah. Because we have a VTuber concert, so that's going to be... They actually have Nijizani. We have Nijizani, so I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. It's going to be interesting. It's going to... First time I've been here, wait. you got you got to go in there with caution, but we're at least going to get to see a VTuber concert out. Yeah. <laughs> that's the worst. That's going to be like, if it's terrible, we've got that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully no, it'll, it'll be nice. At least it'll be a day out. And plus we know a really great, oh, I know a really great place in Birmingham for really good food. And I just want Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's really good to see the thing. But that's the main thing is there was not also a lot of movie stores. There was, no. There was no promotion in the movie. You got lots of big stuff coming out. So and no, nothing was you going got in, You got Indiana. There was some Indiana Jones stuff, I think. You've got no, nothing, Barbie. Nothing Disney, no Barbie. You think that would be perfect. You'd have like a Barbie photo opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone wants to go see Barbie. Yeah, there was a really good Barbie cosplay, actually, I will say. Um, yeah, you'd think that would be like bread and butter. You'd like, that don't mean why you just, I used to go, I love going around them. See, I mean, you go and get all the free, yeah. you go and get all the free photo ops and you get like the little print out. I have loads of them, like, all just all over the places. It was just a shame. I mean, there was about one. There was like one. There's I'm trying to, just trying to think. Oh, there was a there was a Star Trek one. I didn't quite. Now Star Trek. Yeah. But I mean, like you've yeah. got like some big movies coming out this summer. And now I mean, like there's a lot of stuff that's already out. Yeah. Yeah. But if it was like, unfortunately, Fast X is already out. I mean, like none of them Comic Con has Mario movie yeah. stuff. So you got Cross the Spider Verse coming out. MC would have been perfect for that. Yeah, that's what you're, you're looking at. So it does feel a bit like that's the thing. So I'm guys, so this kind of brings us IFE onto our last main, probably what we are. Unless we think of oh, no, what well, we did to probably be one of our last main things. The pricing. The pricing is just getting stupid. And we're getting less. I feel. Yeah. We're getting. We're getting. Before you'd be like, well, go get those cool photo opportunities. Yeah. Uh, of course, get to. Yeah, look at Crunchyroll. Get to look at Anime Limited, and it it, it was it was it, I don't know. It's just they just announced that the weekend tickets are going up to ninety five pounds. Yeah, and before, like literally, this is the first day since two thousand seven. Yeah, I'm not actually at Comic Con when Comic Con is on. Yes, that that is almost that is over. How many years is that? Like seventeen, seventeen years. years. Been... Seventeen years. Yeah. Um, that's ridiculous. Mm. That is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but it's like that's the thing. It's kind of a shame. Uh, I think what I'm saying from that one is I will go to Comic Con for the moment still because there is still lots of really cool things to see. Yeah, but it's not ninety five pounds for the weekend. No, that's if we go on to BAT. Oh god, my god, we go to every time that flipping VAT comes on and charges you another ten pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I bought two priority tickets and it cost me seventy quid. Yeah. Which a few about a few years ago that would have got me there the entire weekend. Mm. Mm. And 
I understand that like, a lot of people go and... Make a whole day out of it? Yeah, it, it, it's a shame. I feel like the ticket prices are, and this is the main thing I feel like, even though I still think MCM is good, I think it's potentially, it's it, it, it's domination of definitely being the, the event to go to. It, it has been, I'm sorry. London Film and Comic Con, you're nice. You're nice, but you never. You're not. Go. You're not. You're, you're, you're not. You, you, you're you, never going to make it. You, you're not MCM. You, you, you know the event was MCM. Yes. You look at coverage of events. Everybody's like MCM. Yeah. Like it gets way more. Everyone wants to go to MCM. Oh, yeah. you're a cosplayer that wants clout. You go to yeah. MCM. Yeah. yeah, you you do it at MCM. Well, now the thing is, with MegaCon announced that they're doing a con in London and in that, January. In January, which is good. Which is because not many cons in January. Yeah, I think and it's and and a very decent price of weekend tickets. Forty eight pounds a, 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 a for a two days. I will make that is two days. We yeah. must say that we can't we can't. But they're doing two days in the same venue. Of course, they're going to have less stuff probably. But it's going to be cold as anything. Because I'm looking forward to it because yes. it's normally that that sort of big break between conventions. Yeah. And it will be actually nice to actually have something going on in January. Yeah. Of course, the um, the uh, main event on February we don't go to because we don't support the company that it run by. We're <laughs> probably banned. But we're, <laughs> we're probably banned because we keep bad mouthing it and they don't like it when people uh, <laughs> give them constructive criticism. But um, yeah, so it's nice for us because it, it's always kind of annoying when the year starts and everybody or some people go to that call and they're like, other channels get to start and we're like, we have to wait till. <laughs> we have to wait a whole other month before we can start. I mean, you can always sell out, but... No, we're not selling out. We're not selling out for that. We started... You sell out a lot of things, but... I won't sell out on that. Don't worry, I haven't gone into NFTs yet. <laughs> yeah. No, someone, someone's trying to get us to go into NFT, this NFT chess game. <laughs> like they keep they keep you know us going, hey do you wanna do you wanna partner with an NFT like chess game and we're just I'm just like No, no <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things that I put my as like, that's like one thing I made you put my foot down on. No 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 don't don't kids don't you want to spend your money on stupid things, spend it on Pokemon <laughs> cards. You physically you at least get a physical oh, item sure. and they have pretty art <laughs> on it. And you actually own it. <laughs> So yeah, so if you want stupid things, that's my that's that that's my prediction. So I think I think mean, this is of course Megacom will have to step the game up. I have been to the Birmingham one. And I will admit it was nice, but it needs more wow factor. Um of course it wasn't as I hope they do really do well on the promotion this time. I did feel like it was a little bit under attended the one I went to in Birmingham. Mm. Um but I feel like with the right the right back in it it could be a force to be reckoned with. I know there's another Comic Con also coming to the Excel Center. I have heard a lot more dodgy stuff about this other company. I've I've never actually looked into this other company, but I have I have heard from people like almost like stay away, stay away from them. Um, yeah, yeah, I have been told like so. I, I will do a bit more research into that one before I like look yeah. to going into that one because as I say, I don't I don't really want to be pushing, pushing things that potentially could be putting people in danger. But this is something else we could say. Yeah. Like years ago, MC, uh, MCM used to have exclusivity for Comic Cons at the Excel Centre. Yeah. To the point when when Super, London Super Comic Con run, oh that's old. Yeah, it's old. <laughs> they only could do Western stuff. Yes, they weren't allowed to do any anime. They couldn't promote anime. Mm. Um, so it's interesting that I presume that exclusivities finally run out. Yeah. It must have been a contract they signed at some point. Yeah. Um, so no, I, more competition is better. Yeah. I guess in a way, what you want is more competition. Comic Con MCM is going to have to up their game. Yeah. I'm just thinking there's a fire up the back, so I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, but I have heard rumours that they're cutting down the stalls. Yeah. Because there seems to be a lot less, easel, less the centre this time. Yes. So, of course, they shut the east entrance again. Yeah. Because they're refurbishing the east entrance, aren't they? Yeah. I have, like, some food stuff in the... The food that was in the centre was really efficient. Mm. 
We like we pay about four pounds for Mr. Whippy with a coat. It's a tiny Mr. Whippy. He was just a teeny little Mr. Whippy. I think mean, it's like my hometown. That's how much Mr. Whippy. Mr. Whippy's just gone up and up in prices. It's not gone on the days. Of Milks. Like, gone up yeah, the gone on the days of the cheap Mr. Whippy. Oh well. <laughs> it's kind of our contradiction now. I know it is our contradiction. We'll keep it up. Um, I actually got a printed uh, picture of uh, us at Kitacon with the ice creams printed. Oh, I need to actually print some more. That's when I got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> I need to actually print more of my friend photos. Oh, that would be, be, be nice. I've got some printed, but I need to put them up somewhere. Yeah. Even though I think I came into this weekend as a skeptic, I actually will admit I had a really lovely time. Yeah. Um, I mean, my thighs were jelly, my feet are still a little bit sore. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Oh, we had time at Nando's Quest on yesterday. Yeah, we went to one Nando's and it was shut. The flipping Nando's was shut on a Saturday. That's the cheekiest Nando's I've ever seen, cheeky Nando's. And, yeah, um, then we ended up going to a Nando, another Nando's nearer to my place. And it was open. And we got there just in time because there was a massive line like after we turned the sun down. <laughs> so, so good. But it was one of them, oh my God, actually, I'm really glad I, I went to Nando's because the food... The food just tastes amazing. That garlic bread. That garlic bread. That rainbow saw. Yeah. So, October, you don't normally come in October. That's because I go to TaruCon. She, Rebecca normally goes to, she saves up for her TaruCon. I put a TaruCon first, it's more value uh, for money. I, I will be there in October, probably for only two days again. I don't think it's worth it for the whole weekend anymore. Unless there's something, unless they announce something. Yes, trash tape's gone there, trash tape for it. Unless they announce something that I want to go and see. See, um, I, I will admit, if you, I'd say if you want to go to Comic Con, probably go for a day or two. I will go for two because I. Weekend's not really worth yeah, it anymore. Weekend's not really worth it. I don't think I will ever really go to MCM for a full weekend. And as it gets really, like, there's so much to see. Right, is there anything else on the top of that MCM or is that our show? Lizzie Lyon's good. <laughs> Lizzie Lyon's good as ever. Yeah. Just trying to think. Yeah. It was really efficient getting tickets this year, though walking around was not great. Yeah. No, I do understand why they do that. that I, I do, I do. I'd rather it be safe than a crowd of people all shoving into yeah. one small door. That's why I don't do October. Yeah. Because it was not as good. Yeah, so I, I actually will say, I actually would... Even though we do kind of make that moan, I do understand safety does come first. And if they, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'd rather think be safe. <laughs> yeah, just trying to think mm. what else we do. Well, I'm just trying to think. Cut down the bootlegs, please. Yeah, cut down the bootlegs. If you could, could you could, you could you make sure I just make bootlegs. We don't like bootlegs. No, we hate bootlegs, bootlegs are terrible. Treat, yeah. Treat your artist good. Yes, your artist, your artist. Your and artists then, are making the convention. Yeah, at the moment, your artists are really carrying you. The artist stores are like the best thing about the convention. Yeah, there's some good stands there as well, but your artists are really carrying Yeah. I mean, there's some long-time regulars that weren't at MCM this time, like Tofu Keep wasn't there. Mm. And then they had the bags there in the art box, but... Yeah. Tofu Keep was not there. Yeah, and they're, they're not like, MCM staples, so I'm really shocked not to see them there. Yeah. I mean, we had like some sorts of America and Kanza come over, like, like Sanshi came over, which was great. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was this artist that I, that I bought some stickers from, from Kanza or the YouTube and stuff. Yeah, I know, I, I bought from, from him before, I think it's really good. Yeah, but my bank was like... Uh, oh, it's actually, I hope some of the stickers on here from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bank, yeah, my bank was like, hang on a minute, this sounds yeah. a bit <laughs> sus. Yeah, like... Like, I made that payment. Yeah. Our banks are both going to be really mad at us. Yeah, they are. Going, what the heck are these two doing this weekend? It could be worse. Yeah, it could, could be NFTs. It could be NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> right. And with that, we're done. You're done. Thank you so much. I have been Timothy Lund. I've been Rebecca. And hopefully we'll see you at another event soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.